Good afternoon from Sagebrush Country, overlooking Sheep Creek, southwest Idaho, almost to the Nevada border. It's in the rhyolite deposits. This was all lava flows many millions of years ago. The Sheep Creek is carved down through here. You can see that. It's quite a view down in here. And focus in there. And I'm not sure you can see that in the shadows, but there's the creek way down in the bottom there. So as you look beyond Sheep Creek Canyon, you can see the White Cap Jarbage Mountains there in Nevada distance and just look at the top of the plateau. It's really sagebrush as far as you can see. We use an ATV to get back into this Sheep Creek Canyon overlook. It's a pretty rough road, about 11 miles back in from the paved road. A lot of rocks in the road, so you need some ground clearance on your vehicle. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you a map and coordinates of, of how to find it. So often when you're cruising through these landscapes, you'll come to open areas like this. This is a burn. So many years ago, fire came through here and the sagebrush was killed and the grass is dominant now. This is a wheat grass. What's called a bunch grass, meaning it grows multiple years of perennial grass. So it comes out in little bunches in the ground. And you take a closer look here, between these little bunches of grass, there's open spaces as it should be. There's no weeds or annual grass growing there, which is good to see. It's a healthy recovery area. If you take a closer look at a, a perennial grass stem, you'll see green there, so it's starting to grow for the year. Here's an example of a playa. A playa occurs in a closed water basin, so all the water flows in here, evaporates away, and leaves behind all the salts, and it creates an environment that nothing can grow in. So this burn here is not recovering well, and this is mostly tumbleweed. Funny enough, tumbleweed is not a native plant of the West, though it's often associated with the West. It's usually something like Russian thistle. There's a number of species that turn into a tumbleweed. But as I kick this one here, you can see it's just ready to go. It's interesting to me in these dry landscapes, you'll come up on little valleys like this. You can see the willows in the bottom because there's a little stream going through here. So sure enough, it's private property. And the reason is somebody homesteaded on it many years ago because there was a water source and tried to eco living out on it. So as you go through these landscapes often, most of the water sources are private land. They were homesteaded once upon a time. As should be expected, there are cows out and about. It's early spring now. Things are greening up and grazing has started. Evening time here. Blackstone Reservoir, sagebrush country. You don't have real glamorous camping sites, but you have solitude. So there's our little camping spot for the night. And we're down out of the wind, making sure our fire's in a very safe place. So this is the sound of our campsite at night. The sound of fire, no wind. No sound of any other kind. A couple of geese on the lake occasionally. It's really, really peaceful. 